differential calculus part five. Let's do this. No. The change in time here is just h. And the change in speed, where well, you can see this speed is the function of t plus h, and this speed is just the function of time. So the change is just the subtraction of the two values. Let's just say that the actual theoretical gradient was represented by this tangent. You can see that the gradient of this chord is a decent approximation to the gradient. But remember, I put that point to form the chord in a completely random place. Had I put it here and drawn a line, can you see that this gradient is much better than this original one to approximating this gradient? Nice. In fact, had I chosen points even closer, closer and closer to this point P, all of those chords will have better and better approximations to this tangent. Now what's happening here? Remember, we classified this value h to represent the distance between the two points of our chord. But as these points get closer, the h value also gets smaller. So the h value is getting smaller and smaller. What's it going towards? Noise. Stay tuned for part six. Noise.